All right. First step, get out the compass. Get out the compass and make sure when they're closed that the point on one side is about the same height as the uh, pencil on the other. You may have to adjust the pencil. So put your points together and see that the pencil and your pointy part there are at about the same height. Okay, that's going to be important. You may have to adjust your pencil slightly by loosening it and then moving it. Does anybody's compass just kind of open up like this too easily? It doesn't really keep? No, we're all good? Yours does? One of them does? Okay, uh, which one is it? Is that? Okay, I know how to fix that one. You gotta bend it a little bit, I'll show you. So, this is gonna be our compass, and the protractor is just to make straight lines. I don't have a protractor, I'm using a straight edge, like so. Okay. Here's the first question for you. We're gonna copy the following line segment using only a compass and a straight edge. So we're gonna copy this exact length, and on yours, the exact length that is there on your page, you want to figure out how to copy that exactly. Now, you could just say, well, I'll get my ruler and I'll measure it and just make another line, right? We're going to get a little more sophisticated because we need to practice using the compass to do that function, to do that method, okay? So watch what we're going to do. You know, uh, I'm going to scroll down for some of these, but this one I'm not going to scroll down for. We're going to make a new endpoint. So instead of M, we're making a new endpoint that's P. So on your sheet, I want you to go ahead and make So we're making a brand new line segment. Instead of, uh, instead of M in, we're going to make one that is congruent to PQ. Just teach it. Nah, watch out for the video. Um, you know, a laundry in the back has a compass. That isn't working. Can you try to help her with that? I'm going to go this way. Thank you. All right, so this new word, too. This new word, too, is congruent. The reason why it's not equal is because equal means it's exactly the same in the same location, exactly the same. Congruent is, for instance, if I have this line segment right, that are the same length, they're congruent, but they're not equal to each other. The only way to have an equal uh, figure is if it was exactly the same okay congruent is just a different a different uh, term in geometry for instance if you have this triangle you could say well that triangle is congruent to this congruent it's not equal because the thing has just been what rotated so it's the same triangle but it's in a different position so we use congruent to talk about it's the same thing it's just in another spot okay? it's the same representation it's just in a different spot so let's look. We want to make a line segment PQ that's the congruent to MN. So this is what we're going to do. Go ahead and get your compass out. Measure from the pointy. Mine's a suction cup, but measure from the pointy to where your pin is. Find that exact distance and keep it exactly like that. Okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the Pointy part, mine's a suction cup. You're going to put it on your point P and watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make a little bit of an arc, not a whole circle. Just make a little arc. Because essentially I can make a circle, right? If I did make a circle, the radii would be the same all the way around. So if I measure that my radius is going to be a distance of MN and then go over here and make a little arc, I know that that segment will fit anywhere between those two lines. All right, make sure you do it. If you both have it, I want the, the other person to do it, so trade after one person's done. Maybe the person goes first that understands it a little bit more so that the other person can watch it. Okay, Kim, both you did? Uh, on the different, not the same page, you guys both did it. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. You guys already did it? Very good. All right, so if you got your line, what do you think you have to do next? Get your protractor straight edge, put it on P, and it doesn't matter. Look, I can aim between P and here. I can aim between P and here, between P and here. It don't matter. It thinks, right? 
So we got that. Let's make our line. Our new point that was on our arc out there. This is our arc that was for measuring. And let's label a Q. Well, you're going to run out of room, so we're doing this on our paper. Hey guys, if you're doing it on the workbook, just make sure you have enough space because we've got to do all those constructions that are one through five. You might have space. You think you have space? And there's a page that's good. Perfect. You guys have space. You want to do it in your workbook. Okay. Hey, thumbs up sideways down for making a line that's congruent to another line segment. Easy, right? Easy? All right. Let's keep moving. I want to just do all these and give you some classwork time. All right. Let's see what we have next. Here's example two. All right, here we go. All right, what are we doing now? I copy the following angle using a compass and a straight edge. So your, your protractor, the straight edge part of it is just this. This is a straight edge. So you're using a protractor as a straight edge. It's the same. It's fine. Just to make a straight line. So you can use a ruler. What if, All right, guys, notice on your workbook, on page 61, those are the five steps for example number one. Turn the page, and you'll see example number two. Page 62 is where we have our next example. All right, uh, pick up here, what's the most important point with this angle? It's the only point, right? Remember that this is our vertex. So we need to make a congruent angle. We have angle J. We have to make it congruent, and we're going to call that R. So angle R is going to be congruent, congruent to angle, angle J. So I guess what I'm going to start with, I'm going to start by putting, I'm going to put R right there. And these are lines, right? Or excuse me, these are rays. Those are rays. So I need you just to, from R, use your straight edge and make a ray just, you know, uh, a good distance away. It doesn't matter how long that ray is. All right, I'm going to come around real quick, make sure we're good with this. So remember, a ray has an endpoint. It goes... Like a one directional line. Okay. Now, with this, let's do this. Take your <clears throat> take your compass. You're going to place it on J and just make it a distance so that you can make an arc right here somewhere in the angle, like you know, most of the way, most of the way down. Okay. So watch what I'm going to do. All I'm doing is going from J. I'm going from J here, and I'm just going to make, I'm going to make my arc, my arc right here. Okay. You guys see that? That's not hard, right? Yeah. Keep your compass exactly how it is, exactly how it is, and I want you to make that same arc off of R. You see how this has actually the instructions on it? I'm going to cut and paste all of these into Edmodo so you can follow these directions because it's hard to write these directions down. Do you agree? It's like, how do you, how do you describe that? Okay. Um, they do a pretty good job, so I'm going to let them keep, keep that. So everyone has this. We made the arc that same distance away from this one. And then let's look at this. I want you to label this. Label this L or J. Sorry, K. Label that K, label that L. Good. I just labeled where the arc that I made goes through. Now watch. This is where it gets like uh, clever. Okay? This may not be like obvious that you do this. I want you to make the distance of the compass between L and K. 
between L and K. So watch, you see this? Now I'm going in here, I'm going to do this one. You guys agree that's the distance between L and K? So watch what I'm going to do. Go over here to this intersection, which we can label at this point, uh, let's call it S. We just got to find where T is going to be over here. And luckily we figured out this is my distance where that other ray should be located. So I'm going to go here to S and make, make an arc. Mind your race too. This intersection right here, what point does this correspond to in our other drama? That intersection is what? What's that intersection? Over there? Okay. So that point right there, I've already measured is that same distance away as over there. Now, last step is connect your last one. T. Also, don't erase all these markings, all the compass markings, the red in here. Don't erase them. It's going to help you remember how you got it. All right, does that look like the same angle? Congruent angle, not equal. Equal would have to be right on top of it, exact same. It's the same, but in a different position. So they are like an equal sign with the squiggly is congruent. Congruent. Alright? Thumbs up sideways down for making angles. Yeah. Jakey. Okay, I just want to do two more of these. If you're catching on slower, don't even worry. By the end of this unit, you'll be doing this in your sleep. Don't sleep with your compass, though. It's dangerous. All right, I'm going to let you solve this one any way you want. Let's do example three. Let's see how many different ways you could solve it. If you're like, well, just use a ruler. You can use a ruler, but try to use a compass if you want to challenge yourself. Okay, so all it's saying is, here you have this line segment AB. AB. We need to make the same, uh, make a same uh, line segment that's two AB. So is that going to be half as long as AB? And the B, twice as long as AB. So I want you to make a new line segment. We'll call it CD. That is twice as long as AB. How will we do it? This one might be pretty straightforward, right? And it's okay if it goes past it, you can just cut the line segment off. So if I'm doing this, I can make it as long as I want.
All right, if you found it one way, try to find it another way, maybe even more clever. I'll give you another uh, 30 seconds for this. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, who used like a ruler type situation and they said, well, all I have to do is measure AB and then double it and make a line. Who did that one? All right, actually like a quarter of us. Who used your compass? Raise your hand if you use the compass. Okay. Um, so using the compass is the, a little bit more kind of clever way in some ways because it gives you more options. So watch what I do. A to B, you agree? A to B. So all I need to do is make one point in the middle. And I see that I didn't make my line long enough. What is my point? Let's try And then what should I do? One more measure. And we want a line segment. The line segment is part of this ray. You could keep it or you can lose it if it's such a specific question. I would make it like that. So 2AB is equal to CD. And those should be line segments, really. How's that? Is that not bad? Izzy, how was that? Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. All right. All right, so again, everybody's trying. If you didn't do it and you're just watching, give it a try because you got to get used to using the compass. Who's finding the compass like they're getting better at it, but it was a little tricky at first? Okay, good. Because sometimes it slides. Did it, Did you get it fixed? Not right yet. I'm going to get started on this and I'll help you out. Uh, we're not going to do number four. So look how they did this. You see? They made the two lines like that. Oh, it fits. It's perfect. You see it? So they made the arcs. I didn't make that big of arcs, so it's fine. Okay. How about this? No, we're not going to do that one. We're going to do this one. Here we go. All right. Use the given segments to construct new segment, AB minus CD. First, I want you to talk about with your group, how are you going to make a new line segment that is equal to AB minus CD? That's what I meant to say. AB minus CD. Talk about it first amongst yourselves. Alright, here we go. 
Okay, let's hear it. Who has one idea? You're already doing it, but I want to pause you. Listen for different strategies. All right, listen up, guys, on the left. Joe, how are you going to do it? What do you think? Take the measurement of AD. Good. Uh, then you take, and then you uh, do what you do to find out the normal line. Uh, then you take the measurement of uh, CD, mm -hmm. then put the point back to where A is. And okay. then you take the measurement of, or you, then you put the point where D would be, and then what's between B and D. I like it. All right, let's, let's, uh, Let's look at this thing. All right, label the second point P. Why are they doing that? All right, we're going to take, first off, find this measurement of AB. See that? Could have used a straight edge, but I want to show you this method. You find that distance by making a slight arc. You see? Slight arc. That's going to be labeled. They said they wanted that to be labeled P. And then what do we need to do? We need to find the other measurement of CD. You guys looking here, CD is going to be a little bit shorter. Now watch. Got that now. Same thing from N. Is there other? So uh, in, in, essentially this is it. This part is AB. This part is CD. If we want to subtract that, okay, if you have this much string and you want to subtract out the length of string that's CD, which portion are we going to do? We kind of have three parts here. Okay, so AB is all the way here. CD is this portion. If I subtract out CD, what's left over? Is that left over? Is this little part left over? That little part's left over. So if you have this whole thing that is AB, and you subtract out the distance for CD, you end up with the line segment that you want. So I would label this right here. Whatever you labeled it, whatever you labeled it is fine. Because we're just interested in what this quantity this is AB minus AC. Excuse me. AB minus C. Who did that one with the ruler? Who did the compass? So you guys like using the compass? Getting used to it. Or you see how it's quicker sometimes? Because right. you don't have to take the measure. You just find the, how wide the open is. Okay. All right. Give me a thumbs up sideways down for working through these. All right. So I'm going to give you the rest of the class time. You guys got like 15 minutes. That's perfect. And I will work with anybody that needs extra help.